So here I have a text where I've marked some lexical teddy bears and expressions that I repeat. And now it's time to use different strategies to find more precise expressions. So the strategy I'm going to talk about in this video is to think in your mother tongue and then use a bilingual and monolingual dictionary to find uh, alternative expressions. The reason that this can be a good strategy is that we often know more synonyms and more precise words in our mother tongue. So that could be a good place to start. So I'm going to use that strategy on the verb to walk. I've written walk and walk twice here. And I let's say that I don't really know uh, alternative ways of saying this in English. If I wanted to, to modify and sort of tell my reader, how did he walk? And I want to avoid using an adverb such as quickly or slowly or things like that. I want to see, right, is there another way or another word that I can use? So I'm going to think in Norwegian because that's my mother tongue. And in Norwegian, I know quite a few expressions for walking. Um, so I know that I can gå, jeg kan spasere, rusle, tusle, sprade, trave, uh, very many different uh, words that I know that, and they have different meaning. They, they're different ways of walking. So in this case, um, this is about my main character who's having a very good day. So I'm going to go for walking slowly, also rusle. Uh, and I'm going to look that up in my bilingual dictionary, which is clarify. So I'll look up rusle and I'll see that I get um, gå sakte to stroll. All right, so that means that instead of walking to work, I can have my main character strolling to work. Now to double check, I want to look that up in a monolingual dictionary. And I'll say stroll. And just double check, does it mean what I think it means? And here you see to go for a leisurely walk, to walk along or through at a leisurely pace, leisurely walk. All right, so that means approximately what I want it to mean. So that means that I'm... I've looked up, I've found an alternative, and I'm going to replace my lexical teddy bear to walk. So then I have, he decided he would walk to work, and as he strolled down the road, so I have more variation, and it's also more precise, because strolling is a specific way of walking, so it gives my reader more information about my main character. So use this strategy when you know that you know a more precise expression or a better synonym in your mother tongue. Uh, remember, as I said, use the bilingual dictionary first, but then check in the monolingual dictionary. Now, to stroll or rusle is a fairly specific expression, so then the dictionary, the bilingual dictionary is mostly correct, but sometimes when we look up words, they can have several different meanings, and then you can't just pick one. You have to double check that this is the word that I actually want. But it's a good strategy when you want to replace like a teddy bear.